Of course, I work with Slova since uh, 2003 now, and uh, I really like the spirit of Slova. Um, we work together, we develop together with them, so they are very open for our ideas. So the whole philosophy is completely mine, and I'm very happy to stay with them. I had to work so long time with the company, for me it's more than 10 years in the meanwhile that I'm working with LOA. There is a very close relationship, if we have an idea to change little points, they get immediately into the product, immediately into the production. Well, on the first generation there were some very principal things like um, an expedition boot not only has to stay keep warm, what is a very normal thing, but it also has to be possible to do some technical climbing with it. The nice thing is we give this input and immediately they, they change and they try really their best. And now I think um, it's really so that we have a very good, very warm and technical high altitude boot. Mm -hmm. To finish uh, all 14, 8,000 meter peaks, especially to uh, reach the top of K2, was uh, a moment where I really could uh, fulfill a, a lifetime dream, more or less. And For us as a couple, after K2, quite a lot of things changed. It was very very intense, the interest of the public, the interest of the medias and uh, it took of course also a lot of time. On one side it's very positive uh, because all the questions about the success, about the 14, 8,000 meter peaks, everything was really positive but it also takes energy. You know, uh, for example, before uh, finishing K2, all the time we spoke about K2 uh, every day more or less and it took a big uh, part of our life uh, and now uh, everything is different. We speak about uh, other dreams and uh, new, yeah, projects. New, new projects. And the nice thing is that we know each other very, very well and on difficult routes, especially on long ridges, on big phases, it's really important to know each other, to know all the reactions from the others and so now we are open for, for new things where we know that we can use all our experience from the 14, 8,000 meter peaks. And these are little details which allow us to communicate in a very simple way and in a very quick way which is very efficient. So things are much more easy for us. My experience is that uh, as a woman I listen a little bit more inside. Uh, I listen more to my gut feeling. Before, before I met Galinde I was very much focused on the height, on temperature, on the time of the ascent and from Camp 1 to Camp 3. Quite boring, yeah? And through Galinda I, I learned quite a lot about also being open for the nature, sitting in the afternoon in front of the stove, melting water of course, but also just to be open to, to see what is around us and to, to enjoy. And the enjoyment, I have to say for, for my side, became much stronger through the influence of, of Galinda.